Earlier, we had clubs in different areas such as Sharm el Sheikh, uh, Regada. We had even big industry names come and open up their own clubs, such as Ministry of Sound. But nowadays, it's not happening. We're seeing now is that we have our own brands that are growing, and that's something better because we need to start to presenting ourselves rather than just getting everything from abroad. I'm a music producer, DJ, and a visual artist, and I'm a nerd by heart. Since I was a little kid, I started uh, learning the piano. I even uh, learned the trombone. I was really uh, as well inspired by um, my father, because he would also play like different instruments, uh, such as Dawood. And he had a thing that every time after work, he would go home and start playing, just for fun, you know, as a meditation. Uh, that really inspired me into just because Music was always in the house, you know. And then I started learning how to produce music in 2003. Got my first software, did my first track. Everybody told me it was shit. So <laughs> I had to go back and start learning how the music production process is. And uh, it took me years you know, to get to where I am now. <laughs> I've seen uh, other people before me do it and they inspired me as well. And I was lucky enough to be introduced to one of the old school DJs who actually gave me a lot of uh, tips and advices and helped me grow my my craft and my skills. His name is Khaled Abdurrahman and he's, I consider him one of the best OGs in the country we've had. And it was trance at the time and we had great support from global DJs such as Oakenfold, uh, Armin van Buren, uh, Cosmic Gate. And then I started getting bored, you know. I don't see anything I can offer new to the genre and I just want to move on to something different. So I switched from trance to progressive house and then a bit to, uh, of uh, electro. And I just like to listen to everything and choose what's good in everything. Even in my sets, I don't play one specific genre. I just like to freestyle. So Epic One Once Studio started. Uh, I co-founded it with my, two of my brothers. I like to call them brothers because we are. Hassan uh, Shirbini and Ismail Hosni. We've been doing uh, visuals and audio services, an educational uh, place for uh, students to come and learn our services, such as music production and the visual uh, services that we provide. And both have been working greatly for the past 10 years. We've had more, over a thousand students that we've taught. Where, um, one of them are great uh, big names in the industry now. We actually did it for the love of the craft, nothing more, it was, and we really wanted to help people who didn't have the opportunity we had at the time. Like when I was yeah, at their age, younger, I mean, I, there was no YouTube, there were no tutorials, there were no schools here for music production. I, I didn't even know how, what the music production process was. I had to look it up online and start reading about it and printing articles and just, you know, trial and error for the past 20 years until I got to where I am. But now you can reach to my point in a couple of years, way faster than I, <laughs> than I did because of the, the, the technology and the modern age that we're living in and how easy to accessing information is nowadays. So Clubbing Purposes started as, a, as my radio show, monthly radio show. I started it six years ago. Now it's evolving into a record label and a club night. The label has already opened. I've already released a couple of tracks on them. But in the, uh, the coming year, I'm going to be looking at some good releases, some nice releases next year. So what's different in our party is basically I'm trying to engage the guests as much as possible. So I'm creating different experiences for them, whether it's the visual aesthetic, which we're going to be bringing our A-game for, as well as different uh, rooms where you can experience some cool uh, um, interactive games. So I don't want to ruin the surprises for everyone, but we're planning to keep you guys engaged and happy throughout the time. and we're gonna care for you so much and we have a really cool headliner coming who's Yaya and I'm really f looking forward to be hosting him because I really like his music as well well Yaya um, really fits the spectrum of the sound or one of the sounds that we're gonna be promoting uh, so I think he's a great a great candidate for the launch party for clubbing purposes and we couldn't be prouder to have him it's really important for me that the whole show goes in a certain flow and nobody ruins it, you know what I mean? Like, it's not about this DJ is better than this one. No, I need everybody to complete the flow of the night from the warm-up DJ to the closing DJ, okay? It, it needs all to fit to give the people a great night and a great experience and a great flow of music.